Okay, so we got another trophy list video for you today. And before we jump into it, I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has submitted their lists. And also a huge thank you just for the patience that is being shown. I know that some people will have posted their lists a long time ago and I still haven't got to them yet. But it is coming. It's just I don't want to oversaturate the channel with nothing but trophy lists. Uh, and I'm trying to speed up the process, but not too much so that I can't do other, other content. Um, going forward, for the time being, if you do want to submit your list, you are still welcome to put it into the comment section. But I am planning on potentially moving away or having like a, an ulterior way of submitting your profiles. And that is with my uh, Discord server. I'll link it down below. Um, of course, a lot of people will have experienced where YouTube automatically deletes their uh, their comment because of it. For some reason, it sees the uh, account name as spam. I don't know whether like it's if you only post your account name, it, it sees it as spam. But I know that has happened for a fair few people. Um, but yeah, so said my thanks, giving you a, a way of uh, submitting. Let's get into this list. And today we have got SSX SRO. Um, and straight off the bat, I can see it's 176 Platinums. So let's jump into it. I am slowly going to um, start changing the way that I do these because I've had a few recently where the, the length has just been far too long. Um, so I'll talk about games by all means. I will say stuff about each and every single one. But if it is over a certain um, amount of Platinums, if it's like, you know, jumping taco, jumping pickle, yeah, jumping games, really, really, really poor shovelware, I'm just going to ignore them. Um, but 176 shouldn't be too bad. So let's get cracking. Um, and we're starting with 1111 Memories Retold. I mentioned this in the last video, um, last trophy list, I believe not my style of game like the graphics are a bit weird um but it's still it's a beautiful game don't get me wrong uh it's um it's a war game that's about as far as i know i've seen it numerous times i've just i just know that it's not for me uh 13 sentinels aegis rim beautiful beautiful game um and fair play on the platinum surprised it's so high i think i said that last week uh but yeah beautiful game uh, 2048 boys I can see just by the picture that it's NFL I'm guessing um, 71 trophies but 98.92% .92 on that so yeah 6 minutes and 11 seconds that, that's giving me shovelware vibes I could be wrong uh, 36 fragments of midnight 3 out of 10 difficulty quite a high percentage only took an hour a hat in time very nice this was originally going to be um, my second ever video on YouTube. Um, I was streaming it on Twitch way back when. And uh, I, I, just, I just got bored of it. Like, it's a brilliant game. But after so long, I just couldn't be bothered to continue with it. It's potentially one I'm going to go back to at some point. But, yeah, uh, brilliant game, though. Absolutely brilliant game. Then we've got both Plague Tales, very nice, 20 hours, 25 hours, both in the 30% for Platinum Achieved. Um, I mean, what else is there to say about a Plague Tale? Br absolutely brilliant games. Next up, we've got a short hike. Only took you 4 hours, 41 minutes. It does say that it should take 40, 4 hours, so all good. Adam's Venture Origins as well, 72.51% on that one, so nice. <coughs> Here's, sorry about that. Uh, by the way, the throat is slightly better. Still not back to 100%. But we keep going. We keep taking care of it when I'm off camera. Uh, then this game I've never seen before. Uh, Aerial Knights Never Yield. Took you 19 hours and 36 minutes. But the Platinum Guide says it should be 2 hours. So, pass. No idea. But fair play on that one. After Us nice uh don't know what that is but straight off the bat 14 minutes 93.99 percent not judging just we'll move on uh okay here we go here's some bad boy games so assassin's creed brotherhood 2 
Mirage, Odyssey, Origins, Revelations, Valhalla, twice. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's just say seven. Fair play. Assassin's Creed's. I enjoyed them back in the day. As time's gone on, I've just kind of fell out of love with them. As I've mentioned previously, like my attention span is so poor that if I play a game, let's say Assassin's Creed, I can't play another Assassin's Creed for years. But fair play on all of those. I mean, Valhalla, 12.52%. I think that's the... Yeah, that's definitely the uh, rarest one of the lot. Then we've got Astro Bot. Nice. Okay, so, I mean, look at that. It's only just come out, but it's already over one in four. But fair play. Um, Astro's Room, Playroom, sorry. Beautiful Platinum. Everybody should have it. Bastion. Now, this is one I haven't seen very often. Brilliant game. It, it's one that I want to go back and, and play again. I played this on my original PlayStation, uh, sorry, not my original, my alternate PlayStation account, which I, I used about four or five years ago. I actually forgot the, like, all my credentials, what, uh, whatever it's called, passwords and whatnot. I had to create another one, played it, but then remembered my password, so came back to my original uh, account. Then we got Ben 10, very nice, 15.55% on that one, 15 hours. Brotato, nice. Uh, you done that one literally like nine days ago. Uh, by the time this is uploaded, it'll probably be about 24 days ago, but nice on that one. Um, it's one that I've actually recently platinumed myself. Then we got Bunny Raiders. I will, no, just get off my screen. It's, it's okay, but I just, I hate it. Then we got Call of the Sea, nice. Carto, also nice. Then we got Cat Quest 1, 2, and 3. Let's go. Cat Quest, bleh, Cat Quest 3 took 13 hours and 30 minutes. i got to ask, was that in one single sitting? <laughs> I'd imagine it would have been. Or maybe you'd have stopped for, a, for dinner or something. But, I mean, look at that percentage. It's, out, it's again, another one that's not long come out, but already higher than... Uh, Higher than two already, which is quite shocking. Um, <laughs> chickens on the road. This is the second time that I've seen this. I have no idea what it is. And I don't want to know because it took you seven and a half minutes. And 99.02% of people have got it. I don't want to know. Concrete Genie next. Nice, beautiful, beautiful game. I just know that it would bore me, to put it plainly. Not not taking anything away from anybody that's got it though. Like it is a beautiful game. I just know that I wouldn't be able to keep with it. Then Control next. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful game. One of my fav all-time favourites. Uh, I platinumed it on PS4 I believe. So I could potentially go back for it on PS5. Um, but I like to... Well I'm at least trying to keep my account so that I don't double stack anything. Uh, even if they are on different... Uh, consoles and whatnot uh, then we got creature in the wall i have absolutely no idea about that then we got daxter very nice that was the and you got it on ps5 so that was once they uh redid it for the ps5 rather than it being on the was it psp i believe it was originally on but look at that 52.04 percent over one in two people okay then we got dc league of super pets uh, I remember watching, I think it was Platinum Bro stream this, and it just looked horrendous. And the guide says two hours, and it took you one day 20 hours. Um, again, I, I'm guessing that could have been started it and then just finished it. But if it took you that long, like, is the two hour guide, is it like an exploit where you can cut out a lot of it? I don't know. Then we got Destroy All Humans 2 Reprobed. Very nice. 3 out of 10 difficulty, 20 hours on that. Un under 1 in 4 people. Then we got... Um, nah. Ignoring. Donut County. I mean, I know it's a very high percentage, but at least it requires a bit of... Uh, a little bit of thinking. I've recently done this one myself, so 
all good. Uh, next up, we've got Do Doodle God Evolution. Nice. Quite a high percentage. No guide on PSMP, at least. Uh, at least at the time of recording. Uh, then we've got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I mean... Nope, that way. You might be able to see just over my shoulder. i got Goku and Bulma. Not the biggest uh, Dragon Ball Z fan, if I'm being honest. But... I appreciate it, and I do think it's fucking super. Um, I haven't platinum this game myself, but I I'm quite far in, and I, I could go back and do it. Uh, then we got Dredge again, another game that I know is really well liked and you know considered a great game. I just know I would get bored of it. Uh, then we got Elden Ring, very nice, hundred percent. Well, of course, it would be 100%. The, the deal, there's no DLC trophy, so... Okay, 33.58% on the Platinum. Very nice. So high for a Souls game. Sickening. Then we've got Endling, Endling Extinction for, is Forever. Very nice. Fallout 76. Fair effing play. 5.53% on that 100-hour Platinum. Very nice. Uh, then we've got Far Cry 3 and Far Cry Primal, both quite high percentages, but fair play on both. Then we've got Fast and Furious Spy Racers Rise of Shifter. I, I watched a video on this one as well, and I can't, I can't remember who, who did the video, but again, this one just looked absolutely horrendous, looked awful. We're going to skip over Funny Truck. Uh, then we've got Game of Thrones. Uh, that's the Telltale game, I believe. It's just, it's just weird. Out of all the Telltale games, the ones that I've at least seen, Game of Thrones one just looks weird. Uh, then we got Geometry Sniper. Absolutely not a Scooby-Doo, but you can see it's uh, under 99%, so it's clearly not a shovelware, or at least not cheap shovelware. Then we got Geometry Stri Sniper Blood in Paris. Ghostbusters, the video game. Very nice. It's the remastered one, I'm guessing. Um, I actually downloaded this a few weeks back, and I, I looked at the guide. And at fir my first look, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that at some point. And then I looked at the guide again, and I was like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> to put it bluntly. Uh, then we got Goat Simulator 3. Very nice. Quite shocked that it's only 23.01% on that. I thought it would have been higher by now. But, okay. Then we've got uh, God of War and God of War Ragnarok. Very nice. I think I've said it before, but 45% on Ragnarok when the original one, not, not the original God of War, but, you know, the prequel to Ragnarok, is only on 27.06. It just, just doesn't make sense. Um, but I'm guessing the trophy list is so much easier. Uh, then we got Guacamelee. 31.34% on that one. Very nice. Uh, some trash. Harry Potter, Quidditch Champions. This lit like... Okay, so I don't know exactly when this is going to go live. But today, as of recording, it is the... Uh, well, theoretically, because it's after midnight now, it's the 12th. He platinum this on the 11th. And I'm pretty sure that this came out on the 9th. Or tenth, one or the other. But it's just like, my God, like, and and I know that one of the trophies is quite grindy on it. Hundred games, I believe. Uh, I've seen a few people have have just like idle, like you know, logged into the match and then just left the computer while it does it, because um, it doesn't matter whether you win or lose. But who knows? Then we got Hello Neighbor next. Considering that this was one of the free games on PSN Plus, if I remember right. 9.93% on that. That's, that's quite low. And then we've got Hello Neighbor 2, which is considerably higher. I believe both of those take one error each, if I remember right. Uh, next up, we've got Hidden Pause. No idea, but fair play. High on Life, one of the funniest games that I've ever played. Um, I'm still sitting on footage for this. I, like, I, I recorded everything. I was going to make a video on it, and then I just... Just never got round to it, to be honest. 
Um, but yeah, really, brilliant game. And you've done DLC on it as well, so fair play on that one. Hogwarts Legacy next. Fair play. Fair play. I could not stand the Merlin's Royals. After doing about 30 of them, I was just like, oh my god, how many more have I got to do? So, just gave up. Uh, then we got Holio. I'm going to... I have no idea, but I'm guessing based off of the picture that that's similar to like Donut County in the style of like gameplay. Uh, then we got Ice Age Scratch Nutty Adventure. Look, looks horrendous. I've, I've got it physical, um, and I've never, I've never put the disc in. It just looks horrendous. Uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising, very nice. Very surprised at the uh, how much the DLC takes up of the overall. But fair play. Then we've got Immortals of Avium. I know a few people that have got this trove, uh, Platinum. I'm not one of them. I own the game. But I've never, again, same with uh, Scratch Adventure. I've never put the disc in. Um, but I've heard that even though it's considered a 6 out of 10, it's not very hard, apparently. Uh, but fair play on that one. Very nice. Uh, Industria, I have no idea. Then we've got Jacks 1 and 2. Nice and nice. Uh, Klonoa Fantasy Reverie series. Very nice. Have never played it myself, but I've, I know what it is. And it look, looks a fun little game. Uh, now, this one I've not seen before on any other list, even though it's such a such a classic game. L.A. Noir. Or at least I don't think I've seen it. I might have. I've seen so many these days that I forget which ones are which. But L.A. Noir, you're only missing three trophies. I'm guessing that's some like dirty DLC, but nice on that one. Then we got Lake and Last Stop. Both small, cute little indie titles. That, you know, not my style of games. Like I know I would get bored on both, but that's not that's not me saying that they aren't worth platinum in or even, you know, acknowledging them. Then we got five Lego games. So DC Super Villains, Jurassic World, Marvel Super Heroes, Marvel's Avengers, and The Incredibles. Nice, 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 and nice. Did, ah, Jurassic World's only 12 hours. Hmm. I've actually been looking for a, like just a chilled Lego game to like not even to record, just to play offline, like in between other stuff. Might have to uh, look into that one. Then we've got Life is Strange, Life is Strange 2, Life is Strange Before the Storm, and True Colours. Nice, 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 nice. I haven't got to these yet, but I am planning to try Life is Strange at some point. Because of how many times I've mentioned about it being like a, a teenage girl uh, game, people have corrected me, and uh, I am going to give it a, a shot. Um, I have been pre-warned that... You know, it, it touches on mental health and shit like that. Or at least, I don't know. I've never played it. I've never even watched a video on them. But that's what I've been told. So, I'll play it when I'm a bit happier. Because outside of YouTube, like real life, I fucking hate my life. I'm, I'm taking the pee. Or am I? Okay, so, Little Nightmares 2. Nice, beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful game. Uh, Majong Adventure. Uh, I mean, if you have to actually... Ah, Majong ain't too bad. I was thinking of Sudoku. Uh, but yeah, fair play. Manita, very nice. Marvels of the... Go Marvels of the... Marvels Guardian of the Galaxy, twice, PS4 and PS5. Not auto-popped. Beautiful. One of one of my favourite games um, ever. Ever. Yeah, let, let's just stay with ever. Marvel Spider-Man and Marvel Spider-Man 2, very nice. And then we've got Miles Morales as well, beautiful. Medieval Remake, very nice. Uh, one that I started and just gave up. I think I went into the Antil level, if I remember right. Got lost for about 20 minutes and I was just like, ugh, yeah, turn it off. Uh, then we've got Minecraft, we'll skip over that crap. Minecraft. Fair play, so many trophies, 111 out of 127. Fair play, very fair play, 12.41% on that. Nice, nice, nice.
I've just seen the one underneath it. I've just seen the next five. Please. Like, you've got some banger, banger platinums up here. And then I see Senor Pepper Pig. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout it out because if I don't, people will start cussing me. For some reason, Pepper Pig has like a massive following. Uh, but yeah, so we've got Pepper Pig, My Little Pony, My Name is Mayo, My Name is Mayo 2, and My Name is Mayo 3. And because we've hit the 100 Platinums, my, my little plug-in has stopped working now. So I don't know if any of these next ones are difficult or how long they take. But, I mean, if you had fun, fair play. Old Man's Journey, I have no idea. Uh, I'm no beautiful little Platinum. Um, one that I would recommend to other people, to be honest. Even though I did get a little bit bored towards the end. Still a beautiful Platinum. Uh, one Piece World Seeker. I actually brought this about, I think it was about four or five months ago. I got the deluxe edition on, on the PlayStation Store for like six pound. And I've never touched it. I don't even know how I don't even know how it plays. Um because I got it just after I'd finished One Piece Odyssey, I believe. And I was like, oh yeah, look, I'll play another One Piece game. I never got around to it. Uh, then we got Oxen Free, very nice. Don't see too many people with that one, but uh Then we got Paw Patrol. Just over one in two. You know, I think I think like if if my son was a little bit older, but wasn't quite old enough to like, you know, have his own PlayStation account and whatnot, I would probably play these like with him or I'd at least set up another account to play them with him um and that's the only way that I could that I could ever see myself having these on my account like I like I know they're easy platinums and, and some people just want to get as many platinums as possible but for me it's not about the number but you know whatever each to their own as long as you enjoy yourselves go nuts uh, PGA Tour 2K23, beautiful, quite a low percentage for a, a golf game. Golf games tend to be more easier than, than like you know, NFL, uh, baseball. Most baseballs, I know that uh, one of the latest baseball games is on uh, PS, uh, PS Plus, and I think that's like five hours. Uh, Pinball Heroes, nice. PJ Masks Hero of the Night, fair play. Uh, Police Simulator Patrol Officers, very nice. Uh, Power Wash Simulator, fair play on that one. That one is something that I would get incredibly bored. Like after the, after the I'd finished washing the first thing, I'd be like, I've got to do that like seventeen thousand times. Nah, I'm out. Prototype Two, banging game. Quite surprised that the percentage is quite high on that one, but okay. Uh, skipping that one. Definitely skipping that one. Gonna skip that one as well. Oh, mate. Oh, disgusting. I'm joking. Fair play on, on every single platinum, but I can already see it. I can already see it. Um I don't know. Raji or Raji, an ancient epic. Five hours 36 minutes on that one, 42.95%. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, absolutely fantastic game. When this, uh, and then we got Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart as well. Very nice. Such a high percentage on it, but it, it is an easy platinum to be fair. But I will say Rift Apart, one one of the best games that ever came out on the PS5. Uh, then we got Road Bustle and Road Bustle Two. I know that I've been missing, I've been skipping a lot of the crap, but I've got to mention these two because. Of when I was cracking up on on one of the previous uh, trophy lists about it. Then we got Sea of Stars. What a absolute banger of a game! I started it. I didn't. I didn't even get bored. I think something else came out, and I was like, "Oh, I've got to go for that." And uh, I just never went back to it, and I can't get back into it now. What one of my best friends is actually playing through this at the moment, and I'm, like he's a he's like a, a 
massive platinum uh, hunter. He doesn't do like videos or anything like that. He completely just does it for the sake of doing it uh, to enjoy his games. Um, and he's been messaging me saying how absolutely phenomenal this game is. And I agree. It, the little bit I played of it, it was amazing. Then we got Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1. 32.78% on that one. Nice. Sherlock Holmes The Awakened. Didn't even know there was two of two Sherlock Holmes games on PS5, but fair play. We got the triple stack, uh, not triple stack, but we got all three Sly Cooper games. So nice, nice, and triple nice. Uh, nope. Sonic Frontiers, very nice. Quite surprised that it's 31.3% on that, but fair play. It's one that I need to go back to at some point. Uh, I just can't be bothered to at the moment. Um, Spirit of the North Enhanced Edition, beautiful, 32.26%. Not my kind of game, but one that I can respect. Uh, Spirit Farer, or Farer, two weeks, 12 hours on that one. That's 16.54%, so beautiful. we got all three Spyros as well. I've got the two. Third one will be in the future, probably about 10 months away for me. Uh, then we got four. Je uh, little, 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 put my teeth back in. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order twice because you did a dirty auto pop. Blech. Fair play. If if you're just going for numbers, then why not? Um, I'm sure that there's plenty of other games that it can be done with as well. Um, but then you went and got Star Wars Jedi Survivor as well. Fair play. I, I, these are games that I I can't bring myself to do like the, the collectibles on fallen order put me off even looking into survivor um storm boy neck eh, forget i mentioned that stray three days 23 hours 23.11 percent nice uh super liminal one day and four hours on that one 15.73 percent i'm surprised that that's quite so low because i've seen i've seen that on so many lists recently but fair play um tacoma only because i know that this isn't like pure trash i know it's a quick and easy platinum uh 76.81 percent but i'll give that a thumbs up because i am aware of what that is teenage mutant ninja turtles shredders revenge I'll give you some. I'll give you some uh, some claps for that one. Eight point two four percent. Fair play, absolutely fair play on that one. Then we got Artful Escape. Beautiful game. I've, I've downloaded it like four times. Keep meaning to start it, and I just I end up deleting it to make space for other things. I know it's only a short game, but I just i know how i know how my mind works i know how bored i can get with certain things uh, uh callisto protocol fair play on that one 22.95 percent i need to go back for this one I, I quite enjoyed the game when it first came out I, I brought it day one um i know that a lot of people kind of bashed it for being super easy with like the dodging mechanic but i, I thought it was a good game then we've got the Forgotten City, almost 30% to get in that one now. The Gardens Between, that wasn't the game that I thought it was. 1 hour 47 minutes, 70.68%. 70, okay, uh, let's forget about that one. The Innsmouth Case, never heard of that one, so I apologise. Then we got the Jumping Muffin. Eee! Eee! Okay. Fair play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let's get back to it. The Last Campfire, one day, 16 hours, 74.73%. The Last of Us Part 1, very nice. One month, three weeks it took you. 40, look at that, 42.06% on that. On a game that would have been played by a lot of people. Although, because it's got Part 1, I'd imagine that's maybe the remaster or something. Oh, I don't know. Um, the Light in the Darkness, nice. The Penguin P, not a... 99.69%. Uh, I, I saw Penguin and I, in, I instantly started reading it. Penguin's my favourite animal, by the way. Uh, the Sinking Shitty, 
<laughs> the sinking city. Three days, four hours, 16.30%. Very nice. Uh, the uncertain last quiet day. 52.56% on that one. So quite a high percentage. I have no idea what it consists of. Then, I mean, look at this. The next three trophies prove so much to me. And then I look further up the list and I see jumping stuff. I know I take the pee. I, I know I do. And and I, I'm not I'm not like I'm not laughing at you or, or anything like that. I'm laughing with you or laughing with other people. Like if you want to play whatever you play, then that is your choice. As I've said on previous videos, as long as you enjoyed yourself, who else cares? Including myself. Like I review the the lists. Sometimes I'll say things just pops out of my head. At the end of the day, what I say, what I think doesn't mean jack diddly squat this is your list if you want them on there fair play um but i mean the witcher 3 wild hunt 10.65 percent on that one took you a month and 18 hours the witcher isn't for me I, i've tried to get into it a couple of times just couldn't then we got i'm, I'm guessing that this is your rarest platinum but we've got thief one week five days 3.59 percent fair f in play on that one and then we got for yeah the one platinum video that i have uploaded where i didn't even get the platinum because i just could not do the uh tutorial boss the one where you're meant to die the trophy where you, you have to like take a full health bar off him. I just couldn't do it. I tried and tried and tried again. And in the end, I almost, like, I just turned it all off. But one, two, three, absolutely phenomenal platinums. I mean, I know that one's quite high, which is sickening. But three phenomenal platinums, fair effing play. Then we got Tynikin, one day, 14 hours, very nice. Tome. 22 hours, 27 minutes, 63.34% on that one. Tunic, nice. Don't see that too much, even though it's considered relatively easy, especially if you're following a, a guide. Then we got the three Uncharted's. Very, very nice. Uncharted Drake's Fortune. One of my most recent Platinums. The video is on the channel from a couple of weeks ago. I'd never touched any of the Uncharted's. I played Drake's Fortune. I want to play Among Thieves. Absolutely phenomenal games. Loved all, all of it. Uh, Undertale, nice. Unpacking. I started it on Xbox um, a long time ago, or when it first came out, basically. Uh, got bored of it after like the first the first room that I unpacked. So nev never bothered with it again. Until Dawn, nice. One that I want to go back and finish off. Um probably just wait for the remake now in truth viewfinder four hours 31 minutes on that one what remains of edith finch tends to be what everybody's time is around two hours so nice and then which would in truth i have no idea what it is so let's go and see your milestones so we have surprised how long that took to get back up so your first platinum was marvel spider-man nice then your 10th platinum was spyro 2 ripto's rage 20th platinum was my name is mayo 2 30th platinum was slide 40th platinum was color master advance 50th platinum hold on what am i doing no rainbow mix advance I don't even remember call, like calling that one out as I was going down. Oh, is that one of the, the ones that I, I skipped? Okay. Uh, 50th Platinum, Old Man's Journey. 75th plus Platinum was Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so nice. 100th Platinum, Spider-Man 2. I mean, why not? Uh, you f Forget about the Fastif because that was the uh, Autopop. 125 Platinum was High on Life, nice. 150th was control nice 
and then 175th Platinum was Harry Potter Quidditch Champions. So, fair play. Fair play. So, yeah, so uh, SSXSRO. Absolutely fantastic list. Some absolutely amazing Platinums mixed in amongst some absolute uh, trash, to put it bluntly, in my opinion. And, and, and children's games. Maybe you've got a child, I don't know. But I'm not judging. You you want to get those Platinums, fair enough. Because of, I've noticed the last milestones were all like you know relatively well-respected or, or more difficult games. Is that the plan? Is number 200 going to be something spectacular or is it going to be just whatever you're playing at the time? But yeah, uh, let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget, if anybody else wants to have their trophy list reviewed, leave your account name in the comments. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.